Hello everyone, this is Cowboy2011, and today I'm going to tell you how to get your character's stuff. The gear, the intros, the outros, how I got it for Kotal Khan. People want to know how you guys get it. So I'm going to tell you how you get it. Uh, we're going to start, you should know the store. It has skins, intros, skins, uh, gear, uh, cards, stuff like that. If you push R2, they use the crystals that you get from the towers. But to first off, we're going to start with the... AI so that you have to set. I actually have a link in the description of how I set up or how people have set up their AI. So for instance if I want Sub-Zero, let's say I do a Sub-Zero tower. I want to work on Sub-Zero. Uh, they have it on their um, tournament base so when you go to AI or your abilities you're going to see in the top where it says select your abilities it says square to push preset. So you're going to push preset you're going to see your two um, what is it called? Tournament Variations, okay? So then after that you go to the website. You're gonna see that you're gonna have the AI abilities that they have set because they think that's the best one. So he's at 10 rushdown. Oops. 10 rushdown, 20 combo. Uh, 20 combo, or, or 20 reversal, and 10 zoning. And that's what they found the best it is for this variation of him, right? Save that, now you got this one ready to go. Okay? So, one thing you guys have to notice is that there's actually character-specific towers that you can always access anytime you want. So if you go here, of course you have like this one. If I was Frost, I'd get that. If I was Raiden, ooh, there's a brutality for Raiden. Pushing through, I'd get that. This one, three skins. I might do that just to get the three skins, that one, but it's mostly this one. As you can see, I have Scarlet's, but if I wanted someone else's, you push square, and then after that, you do which one you'll want. Of course, I don't have coins because I just did all the. used all the crypt, and I could. I can get 100,000 pretty easily. So, yeah, that's how you do it. After you complete one, you just go on to the next one. I can't do one for Shao Kahn, I can't do one for Kotal Kahn, I've reached level 5 for them, there's no more at all. So, you do that, they gave you specific things, this one's Spill Blood, Crushing Blows, and then after that you can keep going. If you want to earn money faster, you do it through Classic Towers. So, Sub-Zero was one AI I set up, I go to Survivor, I go to Sub-Zero, Sub -Zero. Dead of Winter is the one I set up, I push square to sit on AI, I click on it, go on very easy, and then after that he's going to go through this tower, he's going to be doing fatalities and everything else to actually get the coins I need. This is also one thing that you have to, the easiest way to get one of the heads in the crypt, which I'll show you. Um, in the crypt also, there's probably a ton of uh, location and guides on it, so I don't think I'm going to show you guys how or where each uh, one is for it. Just have to fight. fight. Um, each heart chest that has a sh or a Shao Kahn chest and scorpion chest, actually everyone has the same stuff in there. Other than that, everyone else's uh, crypt is different. Wow, you're doing weird. Weirdly weird. This is weird. AI settings, but hey, he's not getting touched for Survivor, that's not good, I guess. And there's a Brutality, so he just got me hearts. And he'll get me coins, so I got... 500 coins, 13 souls, and 5, uh... Hearts. You're gonna continue. I usually do this whenever I'm like eating. You know, I'll be eating or I'll watch a tournament and get some pointers and I'll just have my AI do this stuff. Of course, you have to be the one pushing X to make it advance and stuff like that. That's the only downside. If you do have like a turbo controller that keeps mashing X, you can get it all the way through. The only problem is when it's done, it just will put you on default Scorpion with no uh, AI setting. So, there's that. Now, whenever you keep doing that, to get another way to get a, your intros and outros is actually in the crypt, besides the heart chest, is the heads that you can 
get for your character. How you get the character heads is if you have to do 25, I think it's only 25 now. It used to be 50, maybe they, it's still 50. But it's 50 fatalities slash brutalities or 25 fatalities or brutalities on this character that you want. So, if you actually go over here... You will notice that I have all the heads here. Kotokan, Kung Lao, Aaron Black, Katana, Kano, Cabal, Jackie, Rain, stuff like that. I have done 25 fatalities and brutalities, or 50, I don't remember which one it is, on them. And that actually only counts in towers. They might have changed it where maybe it counts online now, but I'm only missing one head. Ooh, I need that. These are good too. These are really good. Always make sure you have 5,000 coins on you, because this usually gives you pretty good stuff. Shao Kahn helmet, Kotal Kahn stuff, Aaron Black, all gear items. So I'm just missing one, and that's Frost, and I just need to kill her 25 times. Anyway, whenever you get to 15 heads, I want to say 15 heads. A door opens up, and this is like the best door you have ever seen. Get to 15 heads, um, the Sangsheng's treasure room opens up. As you can see, we're actually at the beginning, and the door that was behind you opens up. I've opened all these, I just refilled them because I'm an idiot. Hopefully they're not refilled in here. Anyway, these always contain intros and outros for random characters in here. Okay, then after that, when you ever get 20 heads, this door opens up, this one also has it. They cost 25,000, but they have your intros, outros for each character. Then after that, whenever you get all the heads, this last door opens right here. And I'm assuming there's chests back there with it. Also, if you get the head for that character, I have to go all the way back. Oh, I missed a step. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, for, um... The character the heads are getting for them, you actually get an outro and costume for them. So it's good to get that stuff. So if you find them, or if you want like Sub Zero's gear, do it. As you can see, Frost has a chest down here. Everyone else is open. Once I put this head of Frost on here, it'll open. I'll get a get a cosmetic with it, um, outro, intro, stuff like that. Then after that, it's just like just going through the crypt and getting stuff. Like I've opened all these. I just rebuild them because I've had so much. I'm not going to get that great of stuff anymore. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, and I think it's just going through the crypt, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, to get to this room back here, if it's still locked for you, you just break this wall right here. But notice whenever you put the headband on, something's going to jump out at you, so put it on and swing. And you'll get a Sub-Zero costume from him if you haven't defeated Meat. I think it's Meat, right? The one that jump scares you. You'll get a Sub-Zero costume. And if you want a Scorpion costume, it's actually from a uh, Reptile running around. He's just annoying to find. And yeah, it's just going through the crypt. I kept doing the Survivor Towers. And just my AI kept doing Fatalities, Brutalities, and... It got me all the heads, except for Frost, which I can actually show you a quick way to get the character you want's head. This is perfect timing. So if you want a certain character's head, say you're a Sub-Zero player, Kung Lao, stuff like that, anyone's head you want, but you don't want to wait for it. So you go to your classic towers, Survivor, I'm looking for Frost, so I'm looking Frost towards the bottom of just Survivor, right? She's not there. Go back out and go back in again. Survivor? She's not there. Well, she was there, but I'm looking for her in like two or th second or third position. Fourth one? That's not bad, but I want her lower. So you just keep working your character down. Just keep refreshing it, checking Survivor. The reason you do Survivor is because it's one round. It's not two rounds, it's just one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, you'll keep doing this. <clears throat> Fine. 
We're going to say Scorpion just for now. What you do is you play this. I want. Let's have Scarlet do Spin. it. Just to have Scarlet do it. Very easy. Fight Scorpion, or you can do it manually. Whatever one's faster. Doesn't matter. Because I'm talking. You'll do this. You'll get a. Your computer pretty much does fatalities or brutalities by themselves. Whenever it's done, you just exit the tower and redo the tower because it shouldn't have changed. Yeah, she's like on reversal. A lot of reversal, so she's dodging her. She's playing the matrix right now. Back up. There's the fatality. They usually they usually do fatalities by themselves. Uh Fatality. Scarlet wins. Yep, she did win. And got a flawless. So once again, that's gonna give me coins, souls, and hearts. And she's pretty much gonna do this twenty-five times if you were to keep going up. But since if I wanted Scorpion's head, I would just, uh, in this next one, oh, loading screens, am I right? <clears throat> in this next one, I just go to Tower Select. This is just if you want it to get it faster, if you don't want to wait to get everyone's stuff, then after that you just restart the tower. Because it doesn't change, you'll see Scorpion still at the bottom, and you just go, can you use it anyone? Usually, if you really want to get technical, you'd probably want to sing, oops, no, I don't want that costume. Oh god, that would have sucked. There's some Towers of Times that you'll do whenever you summon this one up here, that goes with uh, your fatalities, let will say like 25 fatalities. You can just send your computer in that one, or 50, and brutalities and stuff like that. So, that's how I got all my stuff. Like, and I got... The only thing I'm missing from Kotal is... Gear? And that's just random crypt stuff? And costumes. So, like, there's still... I mean, I'm about halfway through. There's still stuff I need for each one of these. <clears throat> oh, you can see up top. I'm almost about halfway through on everything. <clears throat> Almost halfway through on costumes, I got all his intros, I got his two fatalities, all his brutalities, and all his taunts. Um, and yeah, that's actually it. That's exactly what I did. I want... Where is Blood God? Not... Oh, Red Snake looks pretty good, but I want actual Blood God, right? Oh, that's fine. But where's Blood God? Right here. I want this costume so bad. Why? Oh, but... As you can see, it was found in the Towers of Time. Oh, and I'm not going to be able to get it, because it looks sick. So, yeah, that's actually exactly what I did, how I did it, and the fastest way probably to do it, instead of actually doing online matches, like, like I said, if you're doing homework, doing work on your computer, places just sit here not doing anything, put your AI on it, and, uh, yeah, just let it do its thing, and that will get you the what you need, because that's exactly what I did. Anyways, guys, this is Cowboy 2011, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching the video all the way through. If you liked what you saw, click that like button and the sub button if you aren't subscribed. You know that would always be a help. Anything would always be a help. And here are some more videos for you guys to watch if you want to watch them. So, um, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!